Hello. Welcome to today's demo of Dynamics 365 for Sales. My name is Tom Lemeron and I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Ledview Partners. Today, we're going to be giving you some day-in-the-life scenarios for a sales representative and a sales manager, showing you quickly how they can use Dynamics 365. So these will be showing you some of the features and functionality of the newest version of Dynamics 365. And we'll be looking at lead management, pipeline management, and an on-site visit, aka I'll show you the mobile capabilities. So let's jump right into the demo right now. All right, so Veronica is just getting into the office today on Monday, and so um, the first thing that she always looks at when she goes into there is her sales dashboard. So I brought up Dynamics 365 for sales. Uh, this is just being brought up through Firefox. Again, all the major browsers are supported, of course. But let's jump right into Veronica's day. So the first thing that she can do is she takes a look at, you know, again, looks at what her pipeline looks like, looks at the different leads that she has out there. But most importantly, she just wants to understand, you know, what is she doing today? So let's look at this relationship assistant. So, all right, we have an opportunity closing soon. All right, I know that one's a pretty big one. Um, oh, I got a new lead today um, with this lead score greater than 70 and, Looks like I have an appointment coming up today also to talk about that, that larger opportunity. So, all right, let's first things first. So this is interesting. So I got a new lead today. Let's take a look at some of the information around here. Okay, so lead score greater than 70. All right, let's take a look at this lead. So one quick note before we jump into the lead here. Notice I have lead score on here. Lead score can be created or generated through multiple different means. It can be done through a marketing automation tool. Lots of marketing automation platforms have lead scoring capabilities. It can be done um, through a new tool inside of Dynamics called Sales AI, which is an add-on to provide um, artificial intelligence into the sales module. Otherwise, it could be just be created within, let's say, pros and flows and processes inside of Dynamics and just kind of manually assigned. For this use case, I just want you to know that we have a lead score. I'm not focusing on how the lead score was generated. Uh, we will have future um, webinars on lead scoring and the capabilities on how to do that inside of Dynamics. So, okay, let's take a look at this lead right now. Okay, so came in from a contact us form. Her name's Lisa. I don't recognize that name city power and light hmm, i know that company but i don't recognize lisa so i'm going to give lisa a call so say i call lisa and i go i'm going to go and i'm just going to log a phone call that i called lisa on here so now inside of here i can call her and just say follow up on lead and you know notes from the call all right so i called lisa uh, I did find out that it is from the same company that I know of. And so as I was on the call, let's see if I can get some of this information. So I know that she's from an existing account. So I'm going to go over here and I worked with City Power and Light before. So I'm going to just choose that one. I know their purchase time quarter is next quarter. Um, I know just by looking at them, they have a committee for who's going to buy it. And we just talked about it and it looks like, you know, they have around a half a million for their estimated budget. All right. All right. There's not more, not too much more I want to fill out on here, but I know that this is a valid lead. So I'm actually going to qualify this lead right now. So now as this lead is qualifying, just behind the scenes is that it's creating an account, it's creating a contact, and it's creating an opportunity. But because I already linked it to an existing um, account, it's not going to create that account record. And yes, there is duplicate detection capabilities that can be in here put in place so that you don't create duplicates inside of there. And again, um, that can be demoed in a, in a separate demonstration. All right, so now that I qualified that lead, it turned into this opportunity. The first thing I'm gonna do is that, you know what, I'm gonna change this, this topic right here. And so, um, 
interested in new devices for a new plant. All right. Um, I'm going to say, I know that this is coming up in next quarter, so I'm just going to give this an estimated due date of the 17th. Um, again, I, I feel this is going to be around half a million. And good. All right. So I'm going to say, make sure that my ch changes have been saved inside of here. And now let's just see if there's anything else I can do on here. I just know I need to find out some of this information. So new devices needed. I don't have the proposed solution yet, and I haven't identified the, the stakeholders. So, all right. Now let me go back to my dashboard, and let's take a look at some of these other items um, that I'm looking at here. All right, so I have this meeting coming up, so I need to I need to get going pretty soon. But before I do that, Ah, I have an opportunity that let passed. Oh, Friday, let this do, it was due last week. All right, let me just take a quick look at this one. And let me actually open up this opportunity. I know that my sales manager gets kind of upset when we have stuff go overdue. So let me let me try to ease the worries before this turns into an issue. So I think I might have been a little bit too aggressive on this date, so I'm just going to change this to a future date here. But I'm going to enter a quick note in here just in case he looks at it. Um, change the estimated close date to February to allow in time in the new year. All right, perfect. So now, if anyone takes a look at that, they can see that I put a note in there on why I, you know, I changed that estimated close date. All right, perfect. Let's go back here. And I think I've taken care of everything that, that is kind of hot right now. All right, now I'm just going to go and take a quick look at my, my leads, or sorry, my opportunities, because I just want to make sure that I have everything, you know, going into here. All right. This notebook lead, I must have had a typo on this because that's a little bit too high. So I'm going to change this back to 60. And I know that this date is a little bit too much. So I, I'm going to push that out one more week on here. And I know that I had a contact inside of here. Um, let me see, who was the contact on here? Uh, Abraham was the contact. So just making some quick changes on here as I'm looking at my at my pipeline inside of here. All right, save these changes so I don't lose those. All right, cool. Now before I leave, the last thing I'm going to do is just check my email. So I'm going to check my email. Oh, I got an email here. Oh, Matt. Oh, who is this? Tom Lemeron. Oh yeah, I remember the meeting him at the EBC last week. Oh, cool. All right, perfect. Well, let's see if we have Tom Lemerand in our account, because I don't know if we've ever worked with him before. I don't think we have. So I'm going to open up Dynamics 365 right here inside of my Outlook, and it's going to log in. And no, we do not know who Tom Lemerand is right now. So, all right, perfect. So I'm going to go into here, and I'm actually going to create, let's create a new lead for Tom. All right, so Matt Tom at EBC. Hopefully there is something here. All right, I don't know SMA budget, lead source was at a trade show. Um, uh, what was his title? I think he was manager. And I gotta get what his company name is, so we'll figure that out later. All right, perfect. So that allows me to create a quick lead against my email here. All right, awesome. And now it automatically puts this email onto that lead. So now if I need to, I can um, I can go back into there later and, and follow up that lead, but it looks like my email is pretty clean now. So let's do this. I need to run out for my meeting. So as I'm doing that, I'm gonna switch over to my mobile device here. So give me a minute here as I switch over to my mobile device.
All right, so I'm on my mobile device here and I have my app for Dynamics 365 for phones. So I'm gonna bring up that app right now. All right, here is my app. I am on an Android uh, device right now. But like I mentioned, I'm going to go see, to a meeting. So I'm going to look at the account I'm going to. So I'm going to City Power and Light. So let me just do a search here, City Power and Light. All right. So now I'm able to see the account information for City Power and Light. Uh, you know, again, I can look at some of the if I need to look at the address or whatever else I need to look at here, but that's not what I'm really worried about. I really want to see if anyone else has touched anything against this um, account since the last time I've been out here. So I'm going to go look at the timeline. As I'm looking at this timeline, oh, I have a couple of activities out here, new activities. So I'm interested to see what the new activities are. So I'm actually going to filter on the new activities. And if I just look down here, a couple of ones that I have created. Ah, this is interesting. All right, there is a delivery issue. And it looks like they talked to Walter, who I know, about a delivery issue. And it looks like this was not too long ago. All right, perfect. Well, now I will make sure to bring that up before um, we start our business, just to make sure that you know he is comfortable with how we are taking care of that. All right, perfect. So now I, I'm just gonna make sure there's no other delivery issues or other issues that we're out there. So I'm gonna go and look at all the cases that are associated with this account. Nope, just, just one active case right now is that delivery issue. Perfect, well, hopefully that's all been taken care of already. Now let's go and take a look at why we're really there. So I'm gonna go and look at the opportunities that we have open. The one that I am really interested in is this notebooks opportunity. So I'm gonna open up this notebooks opportunity here and just make sure I understand what we're doing here. All right, so we have our notebooks. Yep, you know, they have a pretty large budget for this. All right, perfect. I'm also gonna go into here and just take a look at what the quote line or the product line items are. All right, so we have a couple of laptops that we're that we're going to be looking at doing stuff for them. All right, perfect. Okay, awesome. Well, that that gives me a good review on on what I'm you know going to be talking to them about. All right, so now I go into the meeting all prepared, and I meet with City Power and Light. And after the meeting is completed. Um, I want to just log, you know, my, my interactions. I get back into my car and just want to kind of jot through and go through some things I want to do. So I'm actually going to run a process here that allows me to kind of manage, you know, close out some meetings here and document the meeting. So let me find my appointment I was just at here. So meeting with City Power and Light about their opportunities. All right. And now that I look into here... Yep, this looks like all the information that I needed. Walter was the attendant. All right, do I wanna, here. Here are all the notes that I wanted to have from the meeting. I can use the voice to text to enter in all my notes, period. All right, perfect, I have my notes entered in. Now, if I look at here, I can actually edit the the actual opportunity that I'm on if I want to. Um, this opportunity looks good. Oh, I need to put in the, the customer need here. Here is the customer need. All right, and then I can go done. All right, perfect, now I just logged that meeting and everything. So just right now from a sales rep, you saw me go into Dynamics through my desktop, make all the changes, then I was able to flow back into uh, my mobile device and, and do some quick look up and, and find some information and then log the notes. So now let's go back into Dynamics here. All right, now that I'm back in Dynamics, I'm actually looking at this from a um, 
manager, a sales manager's perspective now. So again, I just have the sales manager activity uh, activity dashboard out. It looks a little bit different. I, um, I have some things in here, but one of the things that I, that I may be doing from a sales manager perspective is that I'm going to drill into some of this item. So I'm looking at this, and I just want to look at my perspective stages. So I'm going to drill into here, and I'm going to look, at, you know, what this is by the estimated close date. So I'm going to do estimated close date. Let's see this. All right, this looks pretty good, but it's kind of hard to read. So let me blow this up a little bit. Ah, perfect. Okay. So I can see that we have, you know, again, typical beginning of the of the fiscal year. You know, it might be a little bit slower. It looks like we ramp up, you know, halfway through the year. But let's kind of see what we can take a look at here. So I'm going to look at this information. Actually, before that, let me drill into my actual record. record. So I want to take a look at my records that are associated with with this all right then i want to go into here and you know what i just want to look at this by owner so let me drill into here by owner all right drilling by owner and i'll do this align chart okay veronica is the one that has a big item so i mean if we can get hers to close our month would be really good um so all right let's go and see if we can get if I can get some information here from Veronica uh, kind of looking at this. All right. All right. Looks like I know that she had a meeting or maybe she's still in a meeting with them. Um, okay. Here's the notes that I have from that meeting. So she, she did that. Great. That That's awesome. All right. So this is one that I'm really interested in. So I'm actually going to go into here and I'm going to go and I'm going to do a post. So I'm going to post a message to Veronica here. So I'm going to do that at Veronica. Whoops, helps if I spell her name right. Veronica. All right. And then so let's chat about this up during our next one on one perfect all right so now next time veronica looks at this she knows that you know i've looked at this and now i i want to um have a meeting or a discussion with her okay so now the next thing that i want to do is that i just want to look to see how my um sales team is doing from an appointment standpoint and just how their month is laying out. So I'm going to go over here to appointments and notice this is how my appointment calendar looks. And I'm going to go into here and look at all appointments. But more importantly, you know, it looks like we have some appointments out there. I want to see what the monthly view looks like. You know, as I look at this, you know, my team might be slacking a little bit. But now, you know, again, it gives me a very quick way to see how my team's doing. I can filter this down to different team groups or different people specifically if I want to see how their calendars are looking at. But now it gives me a nice way to kind of see, you know, how, how the team's going and different areas that I can help or, or help, you know, them close more sales. So with that, again, I just wanted to show you a, a quick way on how you can use um, Dynamics 365 for sales. So again, just a quick overview here. Um, we use this to show what the sales representative can do and what a sales manager can do. I appreciate your time. Uh, please check us out at our website where we have lots of different resources for you to consume. And again, I thank you. If you have any questions or would like further um, you know, demos or, or further breakdowns of this, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you.